What's up, everybody? Hello. Uh, it's Britta and Evan. Yes. Um, obviously, I'm Britta, and this is Evan. Yes, if you know us at all, <laughs> you know that. Um, call me by your name. Anyway, shout out. So, um, <laughs> it's really gross out there. It's another nor'easter day, you know, just your average Tuesday in New York. And um, we it got us thinking about um, our weekend that we just had. So we planned to go away with our friends to a cabin, and we were like so excited about it, planned every single thing out, made sure we had everything arranged, had cars and everything, and then... Uh, And then, as we were leaving the city, uh, a giant snowstorm hit, and uh, we were about, I don't know, like less than an hour outside of... uh, Outside of the city. When, and less than an hour from where we were going to be. Uh, when the gentleman we were running the cabin from called and was like, you guys cannot come. There's no power. The roads are crazy. You won't be able to make it. And we're like, no, we can it. do it. And he's like, no, don't come. And we're like, <laughs> shit. Uh, and so then we had to decide if we were going to go back or if there was a way to do some other option. Yeah. So fortunately, um, we have really really amazing friends Mm -hmm. uh and on the fly our amazing friends contacted their amazing friends and we found uh a really wonderful place to stay um thanks to the generosity of wonderful people thanks sean you know who you are um, but it was all because of our friend Ashley, who had a friend Sean, who had a place we could stay it was 18 miles from where we needed to go so we just went and it was still rough because it was a freaking storm but we made do with it and one of the cool things that we did during the weekend is we all planned to bring something to share with the group so we could make it like an artistic weekend as well as a getaway um so everybody brought things evan i uh i taught everyone how to do a time step it's uh very exciting it's a lot of fun (laughs) to teach non-dancers time steps yeah um they were awesome yeah, it was it was really great. Everybody brought wonderful, creative things to do that could take our minds off of the crazy lives we all live in New York. Yeah, um, and we did like cross stitching. That was what one of our friends had us do. And we, um, I was gonna do a workout with everyone, but it was there were there was no room to do one. So we ended up taking a hike though. We did have an amazing hike, which was like all we wanted was to be in nature and all that. And I also brought um, my essential oils, and that was um, a big activity that we did. I had everyone create rollerballs, which is like um, basically a little, you get them on Amazon, a little tube, and you put fractionated coconut oil, which is a really good thing to mix with essential oils, and had everybody use all of my essential oils and um, create their own blends. So, um... It got us thinking. We should probably like explain this whole thing to you guys. Yeah. So I started. So quick rundown. Do it. Okay. So I started selling essential oils through DoTerra. They're the best company. They're amazing, and um, they have the purest oils on the market. They're awesome. And basically, essential oils are the immune system of plants. They're extracted from plants, and basically, they're completely an all-natural, pure way of um, treating pretty much anything you can think of. So um, we are being like the hippies that we are and growing to be more towards. um, (laughs) We have gotten really into them. So I was like, I think I'm going to sell these since I already buy them myself. So I've been selling them for a while, which is a challenge for me because I've never really been like a salesperson. And, you know, people get really turned off by that whole thing. And they think it's all like part of some, you know, scheme. But really, we just truly like are obsessed with these oils. We like the product and... I like I I'm a I'm a skeptic, uh, you could say. I like All New Yorkers are skeptics. Hard so that's science a fun thing. and facts. Um and since we started using um the the oils I completely lost my brain for a second. Uh since we started using we the oil need some oil. I know. That's how you use it. No, I'm just you kidding. Just shake Don't it on do your head. that. Um since we started using the oils, um, I've generally speaking been more relaxed, feel healthy. Um, they make me feel good and make me happy. And as a non-believer, there's, um, a a lot of research happening right now, um, looking into the use of essential oils for all kinds of things. And there's science to back that, which, uh, uh, which 
makes me happy. Um, and it, it's there's some pretty cool stuff out there. There's research happening um, about the effects of essential oils, things like frankincense, uh, which you may have heard of, um, and its effects on like super bugs, like the super bug, these antibi- antibiotic, on guard. You're on guard. On I'm guard. thinking of on guard. He's selling like he oh sells it. He's you learning, guys. but I'm he's learning a newbie. Bit by bit. Okay, um, on guard, which is the <laughs> immune support blend. It's right. I have it. So yeah, you yeah. should open it so they can smell it. I'm going to. <laughs> anyway, they're doing research uh, about this blend like that. with its effects on um, uh, antibiotic resistant uh, bacteria and Basically, things like that, which is pretty cool. It's they, cool stuff. It's only oils in it. It's amazing. You probably cannot see it. Yeah, no, I don't. Anyway, I don't but they mixed um, this with water and sprayed it on the MRSA virus, and it killed it. Bam! So anyway, we're pretty um, gung-ho about it because it's a completely all-natural way to treat pretty much anything, so I got into it. I mainly use the oils for, um, well, now I use them for pretty much everything, but what got me into it at first was I deal with a lot of anxiety and stress, all the time my brain is madness <laughs> and so um i fell in love with a balance blend first and it's incredible it's it's a grounding blend so it's a combination of a bunch of oils that have been known to really help you um release anxiety and to feel more grounded and just more um comfortable and <laughs> breathe in your own skin uh so that one that's a huge reason that i use them also for immune support which is on guard or clove they have another awesome thing is they have a bunch of different oils that do that can do similar things so sometimes if you don't like a smell of one or one doesn't work for you as much there's a lot of alternatives there's just so many things you can test out and make your own blends or they have their own blends and um i also use it for sleep which is huge i know for a lot of people Serenity uh, is one of my favorites. It's awesome. And you put it on your feet or your pillow. Um, you, you A big thing with these oils, I'm going to do it with the grounding one with balance. You can just put a drop in your hand. Evan, you can do the same if you want. And you rub it. And then you inhale deeply through your nose and your mouth. And you could do that for three breaths or whatever you want. And um, mm. it's amazing because when you inhale it, it actually like absorbs into your cells and it will start affecting your entire body. It? Within two minutes, every cool. cell in your body has been affected by it. Yeah, which is insane. It's incredible. And it's uh, just become such a support for us in anything we need. And if we have struggle with eating, we eat something weird. Digest Zen is a great one. You just put a drop in your water. Almost a lot of the oils you can ingest by putting it into your water. You can diffuse them. We have like diffusers. You put water in it and then you put the oil in and it, you know, diffuses into the air. You can put it on topically. You can mix it with coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, which it just never solidifies. That's and it's like the purest oil to combine anything with and helps you absorb it more. You can put it on your skin. Basically, you can use it for anything that you want. And I can assure you any single issue that you're dealing with, there's an oil for that. And there's some cool blend you can create or something. So if you're looking for <laughs> some sort of natural alternative to pretty much anything or a natural anything. remedy, uh, check it out. Take a come at me. You take can a look. Comments feel, below. Yeah, you can, feel free to ask ask questions. I'm happy to answer anything. Yeah, um, you can reach out to me on my um, Instagram, which is Britta Witta. B R I T T A W H I T T A. Um, there's a link in the description. Yes, but um, <laughs> there's just reach out if you are interested or if you're struggling with anything, and this isn't even a sales pitch. It's just a huge part of our life, so we figured we should share it. Um, but yeah, all of that came out of basically the snow racer and us talking about our weekend. I wonder if you guys can see it. I'm going yeah, to try and we're gonna show, gonna try you. show you the craziness that's happening out here. Can you see this snow? It's that's madness. snow. It's madness. Yeah. That's crazy town. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. It's nuts out <laughs> it's there. insane. So we're trying to do everything in our power to not 
go out there anymore today. Yeah, um, we're just like diffusing our oils and watching Harry Potter and being productive, but also kind of finding the balance because when weather is like this, it's very oppressive. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's very hard for people to do anything when it's like this out here. It just makes you want to curl up, eat Indian food, and watch movies. Yeah. Which we already want to do all the time, so it's like a serious thing for us. Makes it doubly difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so our snow day has been full of productive things. We've been going over sides for auditions and mm-hmm. submitting for auditions. more auditions. We sit <laughs> so, on the couch, we put a show on that we're not too invested in, and then we just go through every single audition and submit, try to plan out our week. If you're in theater, if you're in any kind of performance field, you know this life. And it's very daunting because it's like every day. And we were just having a conversation about EPAs and how, which is equity principal auditions. And there's ECCs, equity chorus call auditions. And just for those of you that don't know, equity is the stage actors union, which we are both active members in. Nice. And, um, it's great to be part of the union, but they've created it now so you can submit for anything online, but what happens is they post an audition and within 30 seconds or less, every single slot is taken. So then what you have to do, if you can't sign up, you have to go at at like, you know, an hour before they even open the audition that day and hope to sign up on an alternate list. So even though they like gave us this beautiful way of signing up online, which is better than waiting out in the colds at like six in the morning, which is how it used to be before they did it online. That was, that was no point now. Yeah, but even though you're part of the union and they give you this sign up online thing, a lot of times you end up having to go and spending all day anyway. So it's freaking hard. It's, it's daunting. so daunting. And I, I give so much respect. I have so much respect and give so many props to the people who like do this every day because... I find myself going through waves where I just, like, can't do it, you know? And and I feel like I've, like, failed somehow, but then I just have to trust, like, I can't live like that. I'm in more power to people who can. Yeah. But it's not easy. Don't let anybody tell you that. Yeah. So, um, that's our day. <laughs> we just kind of touched on all kinds of yeah. things. I, mean, all, all I look facets. like a little boy who's like in a rock band or something. Yeah, with your... your One day hair. I'm going to have really good hair. And you're going to be like, what? Is that her? We'll do a formal blog one day. We'll both like dress real nice. And maybe we'll do like for, like formal on the top half. And like, we'll do the mullet of... Yeah, uh, you'll never clothes. know. We'll be naked on the bottom, but you won't know. You'll never know. But um, we're just trying to be real with you guys, you know what I'm saying? Chapstick, um, sweater face, hair up. <laughs> anyway. Jim hair, don't care. You know. Um, <laughs> great. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about essential oils or uh, what do you do on a snowy day? What, what makes you happy? And what challenges with motivation and uh, productivity do you guys run into? Uh, comment below, hit that like button, share, subscribe, subscribe. and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Yeah, we'd love to chat with you. Yeah. Okay, talk soon. Mwah.